Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, doing another uh, another video today. So first of all, uh, Road to Glory. Currently uh, on Heroic. So managed to get Eddie Guerrero. And uh, currently working on, on training him at the moment. So here are, I'm on WrestleMania 35 uh, at the minute. So your undercards are Big Show, Seth Rollins... Small Joe, Kane, AJ Styles, Eric Young, which was the uh, Valentine's um, cards, uh, Triple H WrestleMania 35, uh, Booker T Hall of Fame Cataclysm, that's going to be a new card for me, um, and Kofi Kingston is the undercard, and then obviously the uh, Heroic Upgrade. So another another couple of hours and I should have this uh, all all finished. So I'll just show you as well uh, in my deck that still working on uh, Mankind. So I've still got that, that amount of games to play with that card. And with this one I have uh, power, toughness and speed matches left to do on that one. Eddie Guerrero, done a little bit on him so far, so because I shoved him in straight away as soon as I got him. Uh, quite like the look of this one as well. I think they've done a great job with this uh, Eddie Guerrero card, and it's good to see him on uh, as an event card for a change. So, obviously that. Uh, Rock, I've got... Uh, we prod him, working on the matches with that one. Uh, same with Roman Reigns. He's not far off now. So he'll be nearly finished. Fiend done all matches with that. So really happy with the Fiend. And Becky Lynch. Uh, oh, I've done all the matches with Becky Lynch now. So she is complete. So just need to apply enhancements on her. So going really well at, at, at the moment. Um, we've got... Uh, I got into the into the championship of the King of the Ring, but unfortunately this time I lost, so I can't win them all. But uh, that's a stage where I'm getting up to all the time now, so it's really good progress I've made from uh, the past uh, past couple of months over the limit. It seems to be on target on the global hype, eight to two million, uh, two fifty million needed. Six days, six hours left. Uh, I've slipped a little behind on the solo hype, but gonna uh, gonna uh, make the most of it whilst this road to glory is on, and then uh, I presume it's ring domination straight after this, uh, as soon as the uh, road to glory finishes. So ho I'm hoping to get quite a lot more on uh, on that side of things. Got a reanimator to do, so we'll get that now. So, like I say, I've got quite a lot of pros and uh, and whatnot from, from these. Done really well with the skeletons. Hopefully the luck will continue. So let's jump in, see what we get. I think my, my last one off camera was actually a WrestleMania 35. I've lost count on uh, how many of these reanimators I've done now, actually. I must, I must be uh, late 20s, I would have thought now, probably... I'd guess about 28, somewhere around there, 28, 29. So let's jump in, see what we get. Be nice to get another Alexa Bliss. And WrestleMania 35, Alistair Black. So take the enhancement. Alistair Black, obviously, no good. But uh, I, I just can't complain at all. I can't say anything bad about these reanimators because I've had... Uh, Tremendous luck with these. Um, Some Slam 19 Fusion uh, will be ready uh, later tomorrow night. So uh, I will try and save that with hopefully uh, some of the content uh, for you. Uh, Royal Rumble, haven't played much of that due to playing uh, Road to Glory. Um, Team Battleground. First one I've done with uh, with the team that I've created, and uh, we're smashing it. So really pleased with that. Uh, just one guy that 
didn't fully charge, so I will be kicking him. Um, it wasn't far off, but obviously, in a team team, you need people who are uh, are gonna fully charge, and uh, you don't want to be carrying people. So, to max in TBG as well is is very easy to do. It doesn't take that long. So I will have a position available for a SummerSlam 19 uh, player who has at least um, two event card pros or like two Halloween um, pros on the SummerSlam 19. Uh, but obviously we've got to wait till the uh, event is over and the claim phase. Uh, I've got a lot of people knocking on the door at the minute for for applications so we'll just have to see what happens because it'll be on a first come first serve uh basis and you know if you manage to get in the team then all i ask is obviously you you do uh the tbg max uh look for on team events minimum of 350 uh maximum 500 because the event cards are 4,200, so that way, at least if everyone did 3,500, uh, sorry, 350 each, then uh, you've only got an extra 700 to find, which is very doable between uh, 10 people anyway, because we've I've regularly uh, done that in teams, and a lot of other people have done it, so it is achievable. Also, save all your ads as well for uh, for the team events because you need those for uh, helping you get the extra games. So like when you're collecting shards in Team Ring Domination or extra bouts for the Team Roll to Glory um, because it gives you more chance of getting, when you're picking off the draft picks, uh, the more bouts you have, the more you can play, the more chances you can get of the uh, pick doublers or what whatnot. So... Uh, just uh, do a quick game as well of uh, of this, just to show you. I haven't actually lost a game yet, so I've been very pleased with that as well because my deck is probably the strongest I've ever had it in this game. So really enjoying this season. Uh, this has definitely been uh, the best season for me. So uh, just, just to give you uh, a rough idea of... Uh, what sort of cards you come up against and uh, basically uh, you know let, let me know how, how you guys are doing in this uh, Road to Glory event because obviously it's a flash event so it's shorter than the normal ones which are usually about three and a half days um, so there we go uh, Eddie Guerrero's in there so I'm just basically my, my cards that I'm Using at the moment anyway, will uh, it, it doesn't matter about matching them up with left and right arrows and stuff. I'm just trying to get uh, well. Unfortunately, I've only got one stat on that, so because it was a toughness, the one toughness will go on the uh, on the cards as a match. So I've got to keep uh, keep doing those. But basically, what. <clears throat> the advice that I'd give you right now is come up with two stats, so power and toughness. So, for instance, if Rey Mysterio and Razor Ramon, because they're, they're right and left arrows, so that would class as a match. So what you do is, if you didn't have these matches played as well, so you get one on each on your power and toughness for your matches on both cards. They've obviously combined, so your stats increase as well when, when you do that, so they maximise. And uh, so that's that's how you do that. If you're very new to the game and not familiar with uh, with the basics on those, um, let me know as well. If whilst you've been, I, I'm very surprised actually. Whilst I've been playing this event, but I haven't had a uh, haven't had a tier pull yet actually. Um, but usually, when you play these events, you usually do get uh, do get a tier pull. So if you've got one, let me know what you've got. Uh, hopefully you guys are getting some pros and uh, for the lower tier players, hopefully you're moving up these tiers now and getting the most out of these reanimated fusions before the end of the month. And as you can see now, I just need to do one more match on 
on this and then I will be starting the Booker T Cataclysm. So as soon as I've done that, I've got three left to do. So the Booker T Coffee and the Heroic Upgrade. Now if you've got any questions as well about the Heroic side of things. Uh, so there, that's what the Heroic Upgrade is. So once you get to that, if you can get to that, uh, depending if you're a low tier player, I wouldn't be thinking about this at the moment because you need to be uh, further advanced in in the game uh, with with strong decks to get up to this sort of level. But um, you can once you get the heroic upgrade on a card. Uh, if you don't get it on the next event card, if you just get a normal one, you still can pro it. If you just get the event cards themselves without the heroics, you can still pro them. Um, but usually, unless you have both heroic versions of the card, then you have to wait until the end of the event before you can uh, combine them. If On the last event that I did, I had, uh, well, I've had pro heroics anyway, but as soon as you get a pro heroic, uh, it has been letting you pro them straight away. Some people have had issues. I'm not sure why, but uh, that is the way of doing it. So I'll just do this last game uh, just to show you. Obviously, move on to onto the cataclysm side of things. And uh, I do I do like Road to Glory. To be fair, it's I think it's a very good uh, very good event because. Especially when you start off, depending on what tier you are. Like obviously, I'm the uh, I'm the top tier. So what I do is with my deck, all the cards I need to train. I put all of them in, and uh, you get a good chunk of the training done with Road to Glory. Whilst whilst you're playing the events, as you move up, obviously the further you get in, the uh, the harder it gets to start getting um, complete victories, perfect victories. But I've still got three of my training cards in the two mankinds and Eddie Guerrero. And to be honest with you, I can keep them in all the way through now to the end uh, whilst I play because I'll still win all the games. I won't obviously get perfect games, but I'm not too fussed about that because I'm not really chasing any picks at the moment apart from the hype on over the limit. So, but for the purpose of this video, I'm not. Uh, watching the videos to get my extra extra picks and stuff because it'll just take longer and uh, the last thing you want to be looking at is uh, is ads really how long I do the ads on videos if I absolutely need to but uh, also as well if you've got these uh, 2k20 cards uh, let me know how, uh, how you're getting on with them what you think of them uh, if you've managed to pro them yet um hopefully you've done all the matches uh beforehand so you get the most out of the cards because that is the key to uh beating uh, a lot of people on this game is having your cards up to the maximum stats that they can go uh your tokens obviously apply your tokens wisely uh and make sure they're both balanced for if you're doing a pro so as you can see now, I've done uh, Triple H, so moving on to Booker T. So I'm 7 on to him now. And But the, the thing is with these with these events as well is uh, like I'm, I'm getting through them quite quick because when you... I've got like the uh, ads at the moment for the, uh, for the bouts, so I haven't actually used any credits to uh fill all but i've used 1200 credits to get the uh double points uh for on these so all together it will have only cost me 1200 credits to get the heroic so that's just putting that into perspective that's because my deck is uh the high end uh for this game now I'm not saying that it'll cost 1,200 credits for other people because uh, it's it's unpredictable because I don't know what your decks look like. I don't know how 
uh, how you've done your, your cards with your tokens, etc. But most of mine that are are in my deck are event cards. I've got two fusion ones. Uh, like I've got the Halloween skeleton ones in. Obviously, two K twenty ones and me um, event pro cards. So it all depends on what uh, what what you've got really. Um, so just before we wrap this up, we've got in the store today. Beware of the boogeyman. Uh, um, I would not advise people to play this uh it does it does come in every so often with different coin at uh, different credit uh prices but if you haven't played this uh, there is videos on youtube showing you basically what this is uh the way it starts off is you get a superstar from monsters summer slam 19 most commonly they're uh usually are monster to about uh, shattered to be honest with you uh, you do sometimes get luck of the SummerSlam 19 but very very rarely so I, I'd stay clear of this and basically what you do is when it starts the first card you get you get that automatically then it will have uh, three or four cards that you have to pick from and basically if the boogeyman worms fly up at your screen which 99% of the time will do it's game over then you've got to start again so it's a very expensive game uh, to play but if you've got credits to waste for fun then you know the, the choice is yours uh, close and binding again stay clear of those uh, rip off in my opinion uh, cataclysm summer slam 19 but you should have a chance of getting the fiend in in those as well for the price. Fusion feeder, um, overpriced again because you usually uh, highest you get on average is um, beast monster round 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 there. So it's it, it is a little bit quicker uh way of of doing it if you don't have any fusions but uh if you do i'd just do them uh normally then you've got the trick-or-treater packs uh one to ten so every third pack of these is free uh but as you progress with these packs to get more and more expensive so I think the last pack is two and a half thousand credits, something like that. So it's it's about five thousand credits, I think, in total, uh, four and a half thousand, somewhere around that mark for all the packs anyway. So uh, even though you get uh, free free out of them, so again, entirely your choice. Uh, Hall of Fame throwbacks, they've got uh, a bit of credits off them at the moment, but. If if you can, if you don't want to spend credits uh, and you can get the skeletons for the fiend and whatnot, then I'd be uh, unless you're doing the events for the Eddie Guerrero and uh, whatever uh, other events they are before the end of this month pans out. Now I'd be saving your credits for the new season because that's just round the corner uh, within the next two to three weeks of the guess. So thanks a lot for watching, uh, if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up, uh, give us a subscribe if you haven't already, hit the 70 mark yesterday so I was really happy with that as I've only been doing this for a short period of time, uh, over the limit let me know where you are um, with your rewards on that, hopefully like with the uh, the cards and those they got, they're going to help your decks um, and uh, any any pros that you've had recently. So thanks a lot again and peace out till next time people, thank you.